Today we're going to be reviewing the Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 chambered in 22 long rifle. We're going to see is this the best 22 AR platform on the market? About to find out. All right, so we're going to be loaded up with some 40 grain just regular training ammunition. So we're going to see how she runs. Yeah, so this thing, 25 rounds, lots of firepower, but you know what also is more firepower? Just having more guns. Uh, when you can get 10% off at Lamont's Firearms using our code CGA10, all right? You're gonna get 10% off prices that are already really, really great, very competitive. So that's a big deal. If you wanna look in some guns, go check them out. Lamont Firearms, 10% off, go get you some, guys. We're gonna get back to the range. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hey, whoa, guys, look at this. We have a bit of a jam. That thing, if you can see, is kind of pinched in there with a live round. All right, both dropped Close out. Oh, did it again. Oops, I did it again. No, I'm just kidding. So, uh, yeah, same, is there live? Yeah, it keeps doing that, okay. We are using cheap Agula uh, ammo mixed in with some Thunderbolt, but that is few and far between on the Thunderbolt side, which has done quite well for us in the past. And I guess, yeah, let's just keep seeing what happens. So here we go. Nope, doing it again. No, it's, a, uh, it's gonna double beat. All right, here we go. All right, so we have the mag out and obviously there is nothing in the chamber. Safety is on. So uh, first shooting impression kind of out of the box, how this thing is running. Unfortunately, uh, we do got to admit, so we planned to shoot this video uh, about a month ago um, and we had audio issues. So that's why we never released it to you guys. Um, but we were kind of having the same issue then as you just saw with Skylar. So, and we actually ran uh, stingers through it. So CCI stingers, those are kind of hot rounds. It's doing the same thing. So very interesting. We oiled her up and everything, kind of broke it down, didn't see anything wrong with it. Um, if this issue does keep happening, we might have to contact Smith & Wesson themselves and just see what's going on. Uh, but if, if y'all are seeing this kind of issue or y'all know it about this issue, please comment down below and tell us if there's anything that we could do uh, right now that we don't have to contact Smith & Wesson, but uh, overall impression of this thing. We've had one of these in the past. Uh, I think it's my first AR platformer I ever shot and 22. So it's uh, cheap to shoot. It's uh, very lightweight, obviously. There's a, a lot of polymer on here. Quality of this build is pretty damn solid. So nothing too crazy or anything. Obviously it's just got the irons and everything. It's uh, pretty basic stock and everything. Nothing too crazy, but it's, supposed to be reliable and everything and typically runs really smooth. It's got the M-Lock rail and everything. I think it looks really nice, especially for the price, um, but we're gonna keep running her and see if we're running into this issue. Out of the box, she's doing all right, except for that one thing. So we're gonna lower her up, here we go. My gosh, those yeah, it went like those gases are making me feel like I'm in a certain chamber that I'm not going to say on YouTube because I don't want to get demonetized. Hell, we're going to get demonetized anyways. But no issue there. So I don't really know what the situation is. It's kind of intermittent. Um, we've shot close to probably five, six hundred rounds through it so far, and it's like every other mag will just kind of screw up on us. So. I don't really know what's going on. And by the way, we are using the same magazine and the same ammunition. The only time we ever changed it up was using the CCI Stingers a while back. Unfortunately, we do not have any video of it. We had some technical difficulties then, so. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. Um, we just <laughs> don't really understand what's going on. But, uh, but yeah, we're gonna load her up again uh, and just kind of have some fun, try to look past that part. All right, so we're at our mile and a half range here. Um, just kidding. Uh, this is 
mm, probably like 50, 60 yards. So a little bit of a difference. So we're stepping it back a little bit. Um, if you've noticed that we keep on saying it's like different yardage every time we come back here, it's because we don't actually know what the it is. So just roll with us. All right. But it's at least five. All right. So here we go. Once you're dialed in, can't stop. So we hope you enjoyed the review over the MMP 1522. Again, we're going to kind of revisit this later on down the road uh, because kind of running some issues either it works it doesn't work so uh we're definitely going to keep you guys updated about that uh we're gonna next time probably gonna get some different ammunition some hollow points some stingers kind of show you what it runs what it doesn't run or will it hopefully run, um, run. anyway great gun obviously it's uh it's by a trusted company smith and wesson love you guys um kind of disappointed uh, a little bit but again we will keep it on the channel kind of figure it out. We might even contact Smith & Wesson just to see what is going on. And again, check out Lamont Firearms CGA 10 for 10% off on your next purchase. And I think that's it. Is there anything you want to say, Skylar? God bless America. God bless America. We'll see you guys in the next video.